currently in Needles, California. Population about 5,000 people. This is uh, Route 66 right here. It's glory days long since gone. Needles uh, claim to fame as the city where Sam Kinison died in a head-on collision. It's kind of why I'm here. Uh, Peanuts cartoonist Charles Schulz, he made Needles his home for a couple years. And uh, this is the rough location of the highest recorded temperature in United States history. So today I wanted to show you this business that's for sale. Uh, this is a self car wash. I drove by it and I noticed a for sale sign on it, so I gave him a call. So this is a, looks like a two bay self car wash business. Now this bay would be what he used for detailing cars. So this is your detail bay. And then these two bays right here, well, this is where you wash your own car. Now, this place is in dire need of an upgrade. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm not even sure if this is even workable. Uh, the gentleman that I called, he's owned this for almost 40 years. Now he claims, hello pigeon, I come in peace. If you, if you stay nice, I'll leave you some bird seed. It's in the trunk, I'd have to go get it. By the way, nice artwork with the feces. It's really, really cool. He claims that this business uh, has been shut down for at least a year. Uh, I'm guessing a little bit longer than that. Uh, I don't see this thing having been opened in the last five years at least. So there is one vacuum machine. He claims that it works. I don't believe him. I think it doesn't. And uh, you have a dilapidated machine where you can buy yourself a chamois for only 50 cents. That kind of tells you how long this place has been closed down because now those things would be costing around two bucks. Okay, so he doesn't know how much the land taxes are because he forgot he sounded like an older guy. And uh, well, now here's the big question. You guys are probably wondering how much is this place? What's the asking price? Well, he did say that the last time he remembered, this place would bring in between $800 and $1,000 a month. And I don't know if he had a guy working for him that detailed cars or, or he did it himself. I don't know. You couldn't afford to pay anybody. He would just probably let some bum come in here. And if he was good with detailing cars, he would just let him set up shop here because there's not enough traffic to condone paying anybody. This business, there's no way in hell, me personally, that anybody can <laughs> buy this business, put the necessary amount of money into it to make it a, a reputable money-making business. That's, a, that's absolutely impossible. So he, I don't know how much land taxes he's paying a month, but uh, he, he's paying it and it just sits here for sale. So guess how much he's asking for this place? I'll give you five seconds to guess. This place could be yours for $180,000. It comes with the land and the structure, the building. There's no bathroom in that little office. He would use a camping potty thing, so. The only person I see buying this, and I'm not even trying to be funny here, uh, is a um, somebody to uh, launder money. That's it. I don't see anybody buying this. I don't even know what you could possibly do with it. Uh, maybe you can buy the land and build a house on it, but why would you want to buy it, this place to build a, a house right on the corner? I mean, nobody drives Route 66 anymore. The freeway's right there. There's really no place or reason to come to this place unless it's just for nostalgic reasons. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to put his number up on the screen or not because I feel like people would just call him to crank him. But uh, maybe I'll start putting phone numbers 
on these videos in, in, in future future videos, you know, it's not not trying to get this guy harassed, you know, it's just he sounds like an older guy. His wife has cancer, so I, you know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to have people be sent to him just kind of crank calling him or whatever. But listen, hundred eighty thousand dollars, obviously, obviously, you could probably give this guy. You could probably give this guy. I mean, what do you think, Pigeon? What do you think he would take for this? If you came with, with cash, I don't know, you think you would sell it for 75? You think he would sell it for 75? I don't know. Pro I mean, if, he, if his money's long, he probably wouldn't sell it for 75, but this guy just wants the money and, and that's it, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'll say definitely 120, it's yours. 120 all day long, he'll take that. He'll take that, 120 all day long. I'm sure if some of you guys out there are serious about it, you'll probably look it up online. All right, guys, gotta go. $180,000 for this two bay car wash, self car wash, one bay is for car detailing. You got a broken vacuum pump, two, excuse me, broken vacuum pumps. I don't believe they work. Uh, this place is in dire need of uh, new asphalt. Nobody's gonna come in here to wash their cars. Look at the ground, it's totally messed up. I wouldn't bring my car here to wash, no way in hell. All right, good luck if you guys <laughs> buy this thing. Good luck to you. All right, guys, gotta go, it's hot. Let's go visit Sam Kennison's death spot. Peace out.